Today is Monday. I just got off work, like literally right now. Oh, and I have a Snapchat from Gabby. <laughs> that was unexpected. Well, let's see what she has got to say. <laughs> so she says, looks like y'all are having fall weather. I was saying, I finally have my rain back and I'm so excited because I have not been having fall weather and uh, it's finally fall and it is raining out and it's so nice and it's like 62 degrees so I'm so ready to snuggle up in bed and read and kick off I Sat Rat. So um, today is going to start off my week of vlogs for the I Sat Rat-a-thon. <laughs> The, the readathon. It's I Suck at Readathons. Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes came up with it. And I thought I, I would, was debating whether or not I wanted to do a TBR or not. And I decided that I would just do one on here and do the TBR and the vlog all in one go. So I'm not quite sure uh, what is the requirement. So we're going to look that up. Um, I know that a graphic novel is for sure on here. And so let's check out her video. So if you guys haven't checked out Sam over at Sam's Sam's Nonsense, uh, she does a lot of sci-fi and fantasy and she's just like the cutest little Oregonian and I like love her. So uh, the challenges are read the smallest book on your shelf. Here's the thing with making a TBR with this. This is another reason why I wasn't sure if I wanted to make a TBR video is because I don't know if I want to change my TBR for this vlog or for this um readathon because I really like my TBR right now so I might I don't know how well I'm gonna stick with it because I'm kind of set on my TBR right now but I will uh see what see what I've got here so it says read the smallest book on your shelf now that has got to be and remember I've got like my books turned around because I'm not doing rereads right now so the smallest book on my shelf I'm gonna say is probably, oh, it's probably this one that I hauled recently. Um, one of my friends at work recommended it to me, and it's called the LMNOP, and it's adorable book about uh, they have a statue with it uh, created their language or something, and then the statue eventually has their letters fall off the statue, and as the statue of their letters fall off, they. It erases it from their language and it so it actually shows like missing letters in here as well and it's like made up of like notes and stuff like that so I think this is probably my shortest one and I've been meaning to get to this one because it's kind of magical realism and it just sounds so cute and interesting and she said it's like a, you fly through it and it's great for readathons so I'm going to add this to my shelf I don't know when I'm gonna pick it up this week but hopefully I will have time for it so that's gonna be my first one on my TBR and then second one is read 10 pages a day well that should be easy because I usually manage that I I've I'm on a 10 day reading streak on my book out app so I'm definitely going to hit that one and then read a graphic novel and I'm choosing Spider-Man and Deadpool volume 2 uh, so there was a volume 0 and there's volume 1 this is volume 2 and I'm so excited because I didn't know this is a thing so this is side pieces and Spider-Man and Deadpool are one of my all-time favorite team-ups because de mainly because Deadpool like y'all know how I feel about Spider-Man but he I like love Spider-Man in this because he's with Deadpool and because he's like a moody kid with Deadpool Deadpool just loves P Spider-Man but he hates Peter Parker and he doesn't realize that they're the same person so it's very humorous in that aspect and then it's just great and Spider-Man's like no, go away. And Deadpool's like, I love you, like, please. <laughs> so I, I cannot wait to pick this one up because I enjoy everything with this. So I'm really excited to get this one. So this is definitely on my TBR this week. What other challenges do we have? Finish one book. So hopefully I will finish one book this week. Um, I'm totally going to count it if I finish a book that I've already started. And then read for 20 minutes a day. So there's only five challenges and this, uh, reading challenge is obviously called I suck at readathons so it's supposed to be like a super easy fun challenge um so I'm excited to get to this one and vlog for you guys and there's also like twitter chats and things so I might show that on here too I, I haven't quite decided 
I don't think that that'll be real interesting to watch me like just be on my phone on Twitter, so who knows. But I'm going to pick up these two for um, I Sat Rat, and then I'm going to be picking up... I'm still reading Tower of Dawn with Gabby. I'm on page 406 right now. Holy shit, guys. Things have like blown up and I was not expecting things to and I'm actually like quite intrigued so I am really enjoying it so far I'm kind of dragging my feet through the Nezrin scenes but it's getting a little bit better uh, from where I'm at so I'm hoping that it'll continue I definitely can see how this was originally a novella though because you it's kind of like jumping around and doesn't feel like a lot of meat in the story it is like it's a lot of info to take in and it's like enough to be a story obviously it's a 660 page book but it's definitely not like vital to the main story like not completely yet I can totally see where it's gonna tie in later but it's like meh like I could have not had this and not been missing something um, I really like the kale scenes though and I was surprised about that because I'm not kale's biggest fan oh I do recommend and Gabby pointed this out she's like aren't you glad that we read the assassin's blade and I was like wait why was that necessary like well like what who is the character from assassin's blade totally you need to read the assassin's blade especially now that I'm this far deep into this book you definitely need to read the Assassin's Blade because you will be missing out on stuff connected from the Assassin's Blade and connecting to the whole story. So totally read the Assassin's Blade before you read Tower of Dawn. I highly recommend that and I've been telling people at work that too who are buying Tower of Dawn. I'm like, go, go back. You need to read Assassin's Blade first. So that's where I'm at and I will check up with you guys in a little bit. I did end up getting a Red Bull today because I've been staying up late and getting up early and it's not been a good combo and I need to get some reading done. So I'm gonna crack open that and I'm going to get some of my challenges and reading in. Hey guys, just checking in for the end of the night. Um, it is 11.35 and I might read a little more tonight but this is gonna be my last check-in for today and I might check in with you tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll get a lot of reading done because Trevor does have um, his day off so we tend to listen to audiobooks. So I'm not sure if I will check in with you or not tomorrow, but you'll definitely see me Wednesday. And I wanted to just leave off with where I'm at in here. So I got quite a bit of reading done, and I did do the um, Twitter sprints for I Sat Rat. Uh, <laughs> sorry, the I, I Sat Rat just sounds so funny to me. But I did the read. Um, I did the Twitter sprints with everybody over on the Twitter page for the readathon going on right now. So that was a lot of fun. And I did get quite a bit d done, and so I've already checked off, read 10 minutes a, a day, like every day, so that one I checked off for sure, and read like 20 pages, or read 10 pages, and read for 20 minutes. What, I, got, I got at least two of those, two of those uh, challenges checked off, I think, if, unless I'm misremembering the challenges. Anywho. So I am on chapter 41 right now and I, so I'm at page 466 and so I've roughly, I'm not, I don't remember what page I told you guys earlier that I was on, but today when I started reading in general before I even checked in with you guys, I was on page 400 so I've read 66 pages and so I mean that's like decently well I wanted to hit over 450 today so that was my main goal hopefully I will be done with the this book fairly soon fingers crossed that I can be able to finish this by Wednesday because that would be really nice because it does have I think 660 and I'm at 460 so I only have 200 pages left and I'm really enjoying it the Nazarene scenes are starting to warm up to me a bit and it finally feels like a Sarah J Mass book like I love her writing no matter what but the action sequences, I think, really make Sarah J. Bass's book stand apart from everybody else's, like, fantasy YA books. And so, it is starting to get into more of that and starting to really get into, like, the climax of the book. And I think that's where she really shines and it really feels like a Sarah J. Bass book. So, I'm really enjoying it right now. I'm finally, like, getting into the point where I'm, like, addicted to it, not just that this is good writing. So... I'm excited to get even further into this, but I think I'm going to um, just take a break 
for right now and watch some of my like reality TV because I have a huge like weakness for reality TV. It's just like a guilty pleasure of mine. So I read for quite a bit today so I'm going to go relax and just kind of like tune off or turn off my brain and watch TV and then I will check back in with you guys probably if not tomorrow then definitely on Wednesday. So I will talk to you guys then. I just wanted to update you a little bit so today is Wednesday and I pretty much just had a reading day in bed and I just like read as much as I possibly could and just kind of relaxed all day so I didn't really film anything but I wanted to update you guys on my progress so I did pick up and I finished one of the challenges so I picked up um, Spider-Man Deadpool side pieces and I enjoyed it just because it was the characters but it wasn't my favorite issue of them but I just love it because it's those two together. Um, but I'll go over more of that in the wrap up so I read 100 pages of this done and so that challenge is now complete. And then I also did uh, quite a bit of damage in Tower of Dawn so now I'm on page 564 so on uh, chapter 55 so I've only got like about a hundred pages left so I should be able to finish that one at least this week um, and this is getting really good I'm enjoying the storyline and the action and it, the whole thing is starting to intensify which is fantastic so I'm excited to finish this one and then eventually pick up some of my other ones because I've been really craving some magical realism uh, so that brings me to another point I'm debating whether or not I want to pick up Owl Crate this month. I'm highly considering it because it sounds awesome. There's a candle in it, which I've always wanted to try, like a bookish candle, but the shipping is always outrageous for the, the ones that I want. So uh, I'm really considering that, plus the book is a magical realism book. So I think the book is, um, I don't have it with me right now, but I'll pop up a picture here. It is, I think, the one that's releasing is one that I already have an arc of, which is the yellow cover, and I'm totally blanking on its name now. It's the one that is the Practical Magic, the author of Practical Magic, and I'm pretty sure that is the going to be the the book of the box. So that's the only thing that's really holding me back. But everything else in the book or in the box sounds amazing and right in my alley for this. So I might consider buying that one and just see if I like it. And I'll, I might do an unboxing for you guys then. So that's what I've been kind of toying around with. But I'm definitely going to continue on reading Tower of Dawn and finishing that one and then hopefully picking up some other books soon. And I also wanted to show you some fun things that I got while I was at work. So I couldn't resist. There was one left. And so I had to pick it up, and that is Luna Lovegood, and she, I'll, you guys already know, like, I love her, she, I have her in her Radish Earrings one, and I just adore her, and I thought this was way too cool not to get, I just don't know where I'm gonna put them all, so, oh my gosh, she is fantastic, and I love that they're now all coming with stands, because I said that back, a oh, ways back, that everyone should come with stands, because it just makes sense. And she's got like a little beetle ring on her. Okay, that's disappointing. The They didn't actually line up the pegs right. So I don't know if you guys will even be able to tell that because this camera doesn't have autofocus. But like there are the two pegs where they're supposed to fit. And it doesn't actually like here's where one lines up. And the other one is like off her foot. So mine doesn't actually have the pegs on there. So that's kind of a bummer. But she's still really, really cool. And I'm really happy with her. Like the everything is so look look at how cool that is. I hope this is still in focus for you guys. But she looked awesome. I'm really glad that I got her. She was like the last one left that we had in stock, so I had to pick it up before it sold out too fast. And then I also 
picked up Remus because I have a weird love for Remus and he's one of my favorites and he's got his like scars across his face which is awesome so I'm gonna pop him open too there he is he is really awesome too oh I love him so I'm very happy with both of these I just have no idea how my setup is going to be now that I keep adding more of these so that is my little update for now. I probably won't update you again tonight because I think me and Trevor are just going to chill and watch some Netflix. Uh, we've been really into Blacklist, so I think we're going to catch up on that. Or we might listen to um, the fourth Harry Potter because we've been listening to the audiobooks all month. So I will check back in with you guys tomorrow with my next update. See you then. Hey guys, uh, so I haven't read that much, but I wanted to update you guys again because... I'm now on page 579, and so I think I like just updated you guys and it wasn't that far, but, um, like far in difference, but I just want to say that the chapters, um, 55 and 56, but especially 55 in Towers of Dawn, if you guys have read it, you guys know what I'm talking about, go back and look at these two chapters. They are executed so well. I'm really enjoying this book way more than I thought I was going to. And so I like it's making me even more anticipated to read. Um, so I'll probably do some more damage on this. And I don't know if I'll update you guys again tonight. But I will um, update you guys definitely tomorrow. And then we will take off from there and see what I'm going to, if I'm going to jump in and do some of my other anticipated books or if I want to stick with the readathon goals and read my shortest book which I have been meaning to read that one but I've just been itching to read the other one so I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet. Also update, I did end up getting ordering the Owl Crate for next month Magical Realism which I am so excited. So leave me a comment down below and letting me know if you guys want to see an unboxing for that. I know that a lot of people do unboxings but uh, I will totally do that for you guys if you guys want to see that. So leave me a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if that sounds like a good idea. And also if you like the vlogs. I got such a good response. I'm so glad people commented. But I know um, I am a lurker so <laughs> I never comment on people's videos until they tell me to. So this is me telling you to. And I appreciate all the feedback you guys give me. So I will update you guys in my next clip. Hey guys, uh, it is Friday at 6.52 and today's my day off and Trevor didn't work until way later today so I just started reading but I actually finished Tower of Dawn and it was so good guys. Um, I rated this a 5 out of 5 stars. I'm going to go over it a little more in my review and my wrap up video but it was really good. I love Sarah J. Basso's writing. She just transports me to a whole different world and I absolutely love it. So. I really enjoyed this and I can't wait for the next book in the series next year. So that brings me on to the rest of the readathon going on right now. So um, I think I'm going to pick up LMNOP. I think I'm going to get through it really fast and I kind of want a like quick read, especially after a giant chunker of a book that this is. So I think that's what I'm going to pick up next, but I was starting to fall asleep during this one. Oh, I will total I'm going to pop up my infographics of um, Tower of Dawn too because I like really think that's a lot of it really interesting to look at. But I was falling asleep during my reading of this, so my stats kind of tanked during this. <laughs> but um, I'm going to get some caffeine in me and I'm going to tackle this and I'm going to see how much I can get done through this one. So. I'm going to dive into this one, and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. update since I think today is the last day of the readathon. Today is Saturday and I'm going to actually be at work all day. So I'm going to update you real qu quick because I don't think I'm going to get any more reading done. So I went ahead and started this one last night and I started it and finished it. So um, it was only like 200 some pages. 
So it wasn't too big of a book. It's my challenge for the smallest book on my bookshelf. So that one is read and completed. I did rate this a 3 out of 5 stars. It was a very interesting read, but I wouldn't normally have picked it up if someone didn't recommend it to me. It was it was cool, but it wasn't really a story. So I'll go into that more into my wrap-up. But for the rest of the time, I'm going to be picking up Garden Spells by Sarah Addison Allen. This is one of my all-time favorite books. And I'm excited to reread this again because I've been meaning to reread it. And I actually just bought this book for my mom for her birthday. So I wanted to reread it because I was telling her how much I loved it and how much I thought she would like it too. So I'm going to be picking up this one and I'll probably read a few pages. But like I said, I'm probably not going to get much done in this one because I do work all day today. So yeah, all, overall I had a fairly good reading week with finishing my 700 page book of Tower of Dawn plus this one and a graphic novel so I can consider this a win for the I Suck at Readathon's Readathon. I think I achieved every challenge because I did 15 minutes a day or 15 pages a day and I did 20 20 minutes a day or 15 or 20 pages a day. One of the two. I'll list out the challenges here and I'll check them off if I've completed them all but I think I did all of them which is awesome. So this is going to be all for my weekly vlog of reading and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!